What's up everyone? So this is the third video of Lua Snip video series. In this video, we are going to take on insert node. So as usual, we have ls import, then we have snt fun functions as usual, but we have i um, variable right here for insert node and something called fmt. This is something similar to string format, but for Lua Snip. So today we are going to create a template template or other snippet like this to create a local variable in Lua. So this is what we are going to uh, work on. So let's get started. I'll start by calling s function to create a snippet and trigger character will be var for variable. Then here we previously passed in a node but this time we are going to be passing multiple nodes. So I'll just create a table and include all the nodes inside the table. So first character or rather um, text node should be this local keyword including the space next to it. So let's do that text node and we're going to insert text sorry uh, local space then the next value should be name. We are not going to make this a text node because this should be something uh, because this should be a placeholder where user can enter a new value if they want to change the default value for example. So we are going to use insert node instead i for insert node and uh, I'll pass in a number. This is the jumping order. I will explain that in a second but let's jump jump to the next value uh, space equal space space equal space and once again I'll add, add another node to for, for value once again it's going to be an insert node because a user will change the value uh, when they're creating a snippet. So I'll add two here. Okay let's go all the way down. I'll save the file, reload the snippets and I'll add var. When I hit expand keybind it will expand to this snippet right here and as you can see the mode is insert right now so when you whenever you are typing something some characters it will add to the buffer so for example I can add test and when I hit control I once again it will jump to the next placeholder and here you can enter a new value for example value so simple as that and what you can do here is you can change the order and see what uh, would happen oops um, I can do one here and two here then once again let's reload all the snippets and when we do a uh, you can see it jumps to the value first then after to the name of the variable so here value and when i hit control i it will jump to the um, name of the variable so this is the order of lua snip will um, jump to the placeholders okay now there is a second parameter in insert node you can add a default value for example um, I, I'm gonna add name here I'll just change this back to 1 and uh, this is to 2 and this I will add a string value called value okay I'll save it reload snippets let's do one now and when you hit control I it's going to generate the default text as well and right now the mode is in select so whenever you type some characters it's going to replace the existing value and use whatever you are typing for example I I can uh, add test here it replaced the the name um, sorry the value name I can hit control I if you don't want to change the value you can just simply hit control I one more time so it will use the default value that's actually one more trick let's say you have copied something let's say I have copied insert node the value insert node and when I do uh, let's say var here and I want to paste in the value here right what you can do is you can hit backspace here so you are right now in insert mode you can simply can uh, shift P to paste in the value you just yanked um, so that's one way to do that okay so I don't know if you have noticed this but when I do var and control I you can see we have two placeholders defined in the snippet 
so this is the name is the first placeholder and when I hit control I again that is this uh, value placeholder but I can hit control one more time it will jump to the end of the snippet that's called zeroth um, jump order so when you create a snippet it's going to automatically add another placeholder for zeroth um, place however what you can do is you can uh, define it here in the snippet if you want to change the uh, very last uh, placeholder for example you can move this to the top of the um, snippet when you do that you will see you will jump back to the start of the snippet when you are done so when I hit control I it will oops I forgot to reload um, save and reload the snippets I may have done something wrong so let's see yep um, the comma okay let's reload this again and hit bar control I value then we will jump to the start of the uh, snippet when we control I again so that's the default um, I mean that's how you can use uh, zeroth jump order so that's pretty much how you can use insert node in Lua snip but we can clean up this code using FMT so let's do that next I'll just get rid of all this uh, table values instead I'm going to pass in something called FMT um, into the snippet and here we are going to define a template so local here we are going to define a placeholder like so then we have our equal sign then another placeholder holder for values um, then here we can pass in a table to fill in these placeholders so let's add a table here then to insert nodes to um, you know fill in these two nodes right here I this is this is going to be the order then one more insert node to, for the value so once again we can hit our key bind to reload the snippets and when I do var it should act the same way it did before so this way you can clean up the code but we will look into FMT a little bit uh, more in details in the future but this is it for now so thanks for watching have a nice day